Good evening, this is Kendall Bryan Hunter, the Midnight Philosopher. And tonight I'll be discussing the philosophical implications of the upcoming eclipse in August 27, 2017. Yeah, that's what year we are. First implication, the cosmology of the universe. Is the universe ordered or disordered? Is it crazy or can we make sense of the universe? The eclipse suggests, yes, we can make sense of the universe. We can predict eclipses. We don't know about these for a long time. This implies that we uh, this implies that we're dealing with an orderly and organized universe. This also uh, is relevant when you're dealing with the teleological arguments for the existence of God. If the universe is orderly, does this imply by modus tollens that God exists? That's something you have to sort out on your own and weigh the evidence by yourself, but a lot of people believe that. The second thing about the eclipse goes back to ancient Greece. Thales of Miletus, and this let me double check the date, May 28th, 585 BC, predicted an eclipse in ancient Greece. This is important because there's a shift in thinking from pre-scientific, where you're dealing with superstition, uh, animism and such, to scientific thinking, where you're dealing with experiments, predictability, and that is a really important shift in thought, and that's how civilization progressed as we started thinking scientifically. Think about this, microwave ovens, cell phones, fidget spinners, all these are traceable back to the shift in thinking from pre-scientific to scientific thinking, and we're better as a planet for this scientific thinking. Third point, is there anything mystical or spiritual or supernatural about the eclipse? Now, most people say, look, if you're thinking, if you're thinking scientifically, no, it's just happening. This is just how the planets revolve around the sun, the moon revolves around the earth, and there's nothing more to that. However, there's some insight from Thomas Aquinas. Now, in discussing the Bible, Thomas Aquinas asks a question, can a Bible have figurative senses? And Aquinas' response is, look, when you read a text in the Bible, there's a literal sense. And we're all agreed upon it, that there's a literal meaning of the words. But there's also a spiritual sense, and the spiritual sense can be subdivided into three parts. The, where is it? There it is. The allegorical, the moral, and the anagogical sense. And there's shades of meaning when you read the scriptures. Similarly, with a natural event or a natural historical event like the, an eclipse, there's a literal meaning of the eclipse. This is just how the planets revolve around the sun and the moon revolves around the earth. Nothing more to it. There's also a spiritual sense. What does this teach us about God? And so think about that. Is, can by studying this eclipse, does that teach us anything about God and the associated end times prophecies? Like I said, this is something you have to sort out on your own. I can't tell you what to believe, but I am presenting the idea out there. So this is uh, today's thought from the Midnight Philosopher. And make sure you do not stare at the sun without protection. Never look directly at the sun because you'll damage your eyes.